Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please don't mind this little pimple right here. Um, just don't look at it. It's kind of ugly. Just don't look at it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best candies to sell at school, where to get them, and where to find them. Alright everyone, so I'm at the business Costco, and everything here is meant for businesses to sell, so that's why it's an extra bulk. Alright, so I'm in the candy aisle right now. I'm just going to show you guys the best candies to sell at school, which ones I picked, which ones are good, which ones are not good, and I'll just walk you guys through it. These sneakers right here, you get 48 of them, and the $30 each which gives you a profit of $18. Try not to get these Hershey's right here because they'll melt from your bag and oftentimes they will be sitting in your bag. I never bought these, never bought those. I never bought these. Milky Ways I used to buy, but I found out they actually don't sell that well. But these Twixes right here, $22. They used to be like $20 when I sold. These Twixes always sell no matter what. Never get these. Never get any of these. Kit Kats, I heard a lot of good things about these big Kit Kats. But me personally, I think these ones are better. These Kit Kats for $22 or $21. These Kit Kats always sell out no matter what. This variety count is also good right here. You get 30 of them for basically $19. And actually what I used to do, once I sold everything inside the variety pack, I would pack all the other candies in here and get rid of the Milky Way. And I would also put Kit Kats in there. This variety pack seems to sell pretty good, except Musketeers. I never sold Reese's, but I know some people do, and they sell out pretty well. A lot of people used to ask me to sell Reese's, but I just never did. Peanut M&M's and the regular M&M's both really sell well. These Airheads right here, I sold these for $2 actually, and they made a lot of profit. You had 18 of them for $11, and I sold them for $2 each, so I got $27 profit off of selling these Airheads. I never sold these fruit snacks, I just think they're too small. This candy is actually new. I haven't seen this pack of Starburst here. All these Sour Punch straws, honestly, any one of them is good to sell. These Sour Patch is also good to sell. These fruit snacks right here, these are good to sell. I never sold them. A lot of sports teams did sell them, and they seem to sell out pretty fast. It's $9 for 36 of them, so that's pretty good. I never sold this variety pack. I do know that this variety pack right here sells out very fast. Skittles sell out fast, Starburst. Honestly, any mainstream sour candy sell out very fast. I never sold red vines. I think they're kind of hard to sell. These Sour Patch right here, they sell very well. So there's a lot of gum in this aisle, but I recommend don't sell gum because a lot of people, they just get gum from their friends and they're not gonna be willing to buy gum from you. I also sold these protein bars. They're $14 on sale right now and you get 21 of them. Typically, I sold these to athletes and people who play on sports teams, but honestly, anybody can buy these. And I sold them for $2 each. So that's $42 minus $14, which is $28 profit. These pop tarts right here, they sold out so fast. Brown sugar, strawberry. They don't have s'mores here, but I get s'mores at a different store. So don't be fooled. These pop tarts say 36, but since there's two in a pack, you only get 18 pack, which leaves you of a $12 profit for each box. So here's the chips aisle, and the ones I sold for the hot Cheetos. I sold these two for a dollar, so I get $25. I probably could have sold this one for a dollar, but I think a lot of people came back just because I had the best deal on campus. I'm just going to put these in my cart. I never sold these Hawaiian chips, but a lot of people asked me for them, so they might be good to sell. Takis, these are $12 a buck, and I never sold these, but I also heard a lot of good things about these. I, Looking back, I should have sold these because a lot of people asked me for them. So this box is actually open. I guess this is the size of the Takis. I'm just going to go and put these back so I don't get in trouble. That's what my cart is looking like so far. There's a lot of juices and sodas and a lot of other drinks that you can buy. I don't like selling these because just in case they explode it or pop, it might stain your bag and make everything sticky. Also, they're pretty heavy, but I did sell water because when I got thirsty, I can just drink the water and water always sells because everybody is thirsty no matter what. This is the water I used to buy, $3 each. All right, everybody, so I ended up in this bean aisle so I can talk about my candies because there's a lot of people right now and it's very loud. So, fix this. Twixes always sell out no matter what. Kit Kats always sell out too. Airheads, they didn't really sell. I sold a few a day. They aren't as popular as Kit Kats or Twix, but they'll sell too. These people are looking at me. M&M's and peanut M&M's. I think the peanut M&M's sold a bit better. Snickers sold well too. This box, after I completely sell everything in the box, I'd fit about 15 Kit Kats, 6 Snickers, 12 Twix, and 3 peanut M&M's and 3 regular M&M's. That's what I'd fit inside of this box so there's three packs of pop tarts in here it's like one two three you can see the box inside i don't know if you can but basically i'd get one box of brown sugar pop tarts strawberry pop tarts and s'mores pop tarts and oftentimes i'd find that i'd sell them out in the morning because some people don't have breakfast in high school and you know you're there to feed them hot cheetos i'd always sell two for a dollar no matter what you can 
probably get away selling them for a dollar, but I think that's just ripping off the customer. What I found is that having a loyal customer base is more important than selling the most amount of candies because there are other people that sell candy and you want them to go to you. And how do you get them to go to you? Having the best deals and best prices and most selection. So that's why I chose to sell all these candies because I personally think they sell the best compared to anything else. Like I said, I never sold Skittles or Starburst. I know they sold well, I just never sold them because a lot of people sold them and I didn't want to be like them. This is what my car would look like, guys. This is what a weekend would look like in my life when I was in high school, just selling all these candies. So the thing about Costco is you need a Costco membership, so I'm gonna go to Smart and Final, another store, which you don't need a membership to go into. I think Costco is the best place, but Smart and Final is the second best place. So I just need to put all these candies back since I'm not buying them, and I'll meet you guys when I'm at Smart and Final. Boom! And with the power of editing, I'm at Smart and Final, guys. So Smart and Final obviously does not need a Costco membership, so anybody can go into the store and get some candy. So I'm at Smart and Final right now, and that is where I'd either buy my S'mores pop tarts or brown sugar strawberry pop tarts so smart final has chips also more chips there are the chocolates here are the other candy smart final has and i guess this store used to have a lot of break-ins and people stealing the chocolates so they put this new security on it so smart final has the m ms the peanut m m the snickers the twix kit kats right here this used to be my backup store because it's closer to my house than Costco. And that's it. I'm showing you guys another store that you can go to to sell candy and get some food to sell at school. Stay tuned for a follow up video of me showing you how to make some Kool Aid gummy worms. Those are the best selling candies that I ever sold at school. And they're pretty unique, so not many people are gonna know about them. Not many people are gonna make them. So that's where you come in and make these candies and make much more of a profit. I'm just leaving Smart Final now and I'll meet you guys when I'm back home. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm home now. And I'm just gonna give you guys some tips for selling candy at school. Before you guys do anything, make sure it's okay to sell candy at your school. And if not, just don't get caught because that might be bad. When you're selling at school, I suggest keep your prices at whole numbers. So $1, $2, $3, etc. So for an example, don't sell your chocolate for $1.50. Also, when you're walking around campus, try to have a routine so people know about what time and where you're gonna be. So I suggest you find a good routine that hits most of the people at school because you're most likely not going to hit everybody. The biggest tip I have for selling chocolate is to put it in the refrigerator the night before so it gets nice and cool and it doesn't melt in your bag. Also, the shirt that I'm wearing right here, I got it from my In-N-Out picnic. And I have a video on that so make sure you check it out on my channel. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck in your future candy selling.